diseases. Now, so coming to doses, you see, we have a magic formula for doses. One, two, four, six. What's the meaning of one, two, four, six? Me for the first week, we advise our people to take only one test per day. One RG and one GL observe for one week. This is very important, you know. This is observe one week, we see that there any reaction or any, this, uh, what they call, this uh, uh, detoxification going on or not. So after one week, nothing happened to him. If you have a severe reaction, don't increase, continue with one pair. If okay, everything okay, then go to second week, we, we increase to two pairs per day. Two pairs per day. Now, <coughs> they can take one stop, two pairs, or one pair in the morning, one pair in the evening, before meal, after meal, it's okay. Any time in the day, any time is coming. If forgotten to take in the morning, can take in the evening, take any time of the day, no restriction. You see? And they, there is also no restriction on food or medicine or whatever it is. They can take together with coffee, with, with allopathic medicine, with Ayurvedic medicine, uh, with this, uh, this herbal, anything. can take to, to, to concurrently. It, it's not a problem. They take one shot of thing into two times before me, after me, doesn't make much difference. These are the things. Free taking. Yeah? Now, if second week everything turn normally, okay. Uh, then go to third week, you increase to four pairs per day. Four pairs per day. Uh. Four pairs mean you can take two pairs in the morning or two pairs in the evening. Two pairs in the evening. Now, they can take four pairs concurrently. One third is okay. No problem. Before meal or after meal. Now, say, after taking four pairs, say there's some reaction started to come. <coughs> then the people are asking us a lot about the reaction, you know. Not to say, oh, you, even myself, 15 years in the field, Sometimes people ask me about reaction, I still can answer. Oh, there's so many types of reaction now. But, but forget about reaction also. Reaction is the working of the immune system. Nah? Even though you just do, doesn't understand anything about reaction, you still can practice genotherapy. Because a person having a reaction, you only ask him one question. Is it bearable to you or unbearable to you? Can you stand it or can you not stand it? Whether you vomit birth, whether you cannot sleep, whether you sleep too long, too, too much, eh? whether you grow groggy, eh? whether you become a, a, a loose motion, a tight motion, eh? it's not our concern. We only ask one question, can you stand this or not? Bearable to you or not bearable to you? You say, okay, this thing still okay, I can bear it, everything, then continue with your dosage. Nah. But here we say, this thing is too much for me, I cannot take this. Then you reduce the dosage. This is a simple logic, you know, this is simple logic. If they can stand in, continue with the doses. If they cannot stand, reduce the doses. And normally, we do not advise people to increase the doses when they have Because they already reason you increase the doses, normally will aggravate the situation. Nah? But on certain cases, if they still fine, fine, everything okay, then you can increase. But normally you maintain. You maintain the doses until this, uh, sin, uh, this, uh, this reaction uh, disappears. He, he is happy with himself, then you can increase. Then come to the fourth week, then six times per day. Now, this one, two, four, six is not a fixed rule. It's not a hard rule that is unbroken neighbor. You must depend on the economical condition of our, our patient also. Sometimes six pairs per day is too much for certain people economically. Then you can go for one, two, three. One pair, two pairs, and for three pairs, and then observe for, for three pairs, everything. Actually, it's free to apply. It's not a fixed rule. It's just an advice. <coughs> then, as a doctor or as a therapist, people always come to me. I am having epilepsy, how many doses I should take? Some people say, oh, I am having diabetes uh, with certain, certain uh, sugar level, how many doses I should take? Now, then you observe, there are only three categories of, of this uh, consumer. <coughs> First category is uh, with a minor, minor complaint. And they have complaint, a minor complaint. And all of us, you can sit here, can talk, everything normally is a minor complaint. Uh, it's six times per day, about six times per day, three to six times per day. Some that are major complaints <coughs> already affecting their work, affecting their living, affecting their life already. Uh, this thing. Then they are normally it's nine pairs to twelve pairs per day. Then third group are very seriously ill, terminal cases where there's no hope of treatment or anything. Yeah, then go eighteen pairs and above. Eighteen pairs and above. There's no limit in the consumption. In Malaysia also in uh, in, uh, in uh, this uh, what do you call in uh, Hong Kong. Sometimes we, when we face these terminal cases with the approval of the family, we even go up to 120 pence per day, 150, 40 pence per day. It's okay. But seldom go to the extent. Seldom go there. But even you go to that extent, it's okay. So, forget about the disease. 
Don't ask what is this. You see what is the condition, whether it's a minor case or it's a, it's a serious case or it's a terminal case. Then you advise accordingly. Nah? Advise accordingly. As simple as that, no? Otherwise, even as a doctor, sometimes people come with such a funny cases, so it's very difficult for you to advise, no? The, the doses. So just, uh, 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 what do you call? Depend on their civility. Now, just now, a question about this epilepsy, nah? Let, let's take epilepsy as a study case. <coughs> As we know, epilepsy is due to some uh, out of function of a certain brain, uh, this thing. So sometimes doctors go for operation uh, to, to cut off the, the connected nerve, uh, this is the thing. But this also normally doesn't solve the problem very much. Uh. Now, epilepsy, after taking genonoma, instead of getting better, many of the cases uh, become worse, no? The more seizure and more this thing happen. There is also a case uh, happening in Malaysia. After taking Gedonoma, uh, the seizure come uh, uh, 30 or 40 times a day. But you must remember, this is not caused by Gedonoma. It's caused by the body system. You must taste them with it, see whether they can bear it or they cannot bear it. This and can bear it, continue with this thing. Then after the seizure become less and less, then and then one day then the thing just disappear. Is it on the epilepsy? In the same case as many other diseases, take diabetes as an example, diabetes. Eh? Many, many diabetes patients in Malaysia, after taking RGMP, yeah, they feel so fresh and energetic, no? they are very confident. Now my disease uh, is already okay, they go to the blood test, they say my test must be beautiful. But after test, the doctor straight away bar him, no? send him to ICU, because the sugar content is too high. Why? Why it happened that way? Very simple. When the, when a person is uh, having a diabetes, the sugar is not only in 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 a, in a blood, you know, it's also inside the tissue. And the real test to be test on the tissue, but seldom doctors take the tissue sample and test. Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, we test on uh, this uh, sugar, uh, on uh, this uh, blood. Now, <coughs> this is a tricky test. A diabetes patient, what is the toxin inside the body? It's a, it's a sugar. Sugar. Your body has to dispose it off, no? How the body is going to dispose it off? You extract all the extra sugar from the tissue, you dump it into the blood vessel, you bring it to the liver, bring it to your kidney, everything dispose it off. So after one or two weeks, taking Gedonoma, you go for blood test, you always have a very poor result. No? Oh, so dirty, you know, with such a high toxic level inside the, the blood. But that is a proof of detoxification. If you better, you know, if you energetic, everything okay, but the blood test is very poor. This is normal. This is normal. You only take the test after one or two months, it's okay. Not after one or two weeks, you know. You go. Some, some people, they take a blood test before they take Gedonoma. After taking one week, you know, then they quickly go and take another test. It told me, worse. This thing is kind of worse, no. It aggravated. Blood test is not everything. Blood test is just part of the story. You must go for tissue test, a whole body test, that is uh, the, the thing, you know. When you talk about blood test, remember Bruce Lee. After the blood test, everything okay, but die after two weeks. This uh, is a thing. And my another patient just now, the, the lung problem, of the blood test, everything normal. But the lung of a uh, problem, this is a thing. So, this uh, blood test is not the only indication of health. You must take the other factors into, into consideration. So, uh, when your patient says to you that after taking Gedonoma, the blood test becomes uh, uh, more of this, uh, this uh, thing, uh, say come. Ask them to take the test after one, one month. Then you have beautiful result. This is a proof of detoxification. Now, so am I clear on the uh, dosage? So next time, huh? So C person, A, B, and C, okay? Now, actually A, B, and C uh, uh, is just a very rough, you see, A person is a uh, lung and, and heart, uh, a B person is liver, stomach, and also part of the intestine. C is a reproduction organ, uh, 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 normally. Now, uh, uh, you see, <coughs> When we talk about reaction, uh, we talk about reaction, uh, you see. Sometimes the reaction can be happening op op oppositely. It's a, some, some, some people, they're having a reproduction problem or sexual problem, they always have a problem in this area, the opposite in this area. Some people, they have a, a power problem, they always have a throat problem also. These, these, these are the these things. But, but today we are not going to go into this, uh, because it takes a long time to, to, to explain. But whatever it is, uh, A, B, C is just a convenient way. Now our hand, also, A, B, and C. But some people, they always have cold hands. Eh? The hand is always cold, everything. Eh? Then you must suspect either it's lung problem or it is uh, this heart problem. 
How do we know it's lung problem or heart problem? If it's lung problem, they must associate with breathing. They must have cough, difficulty in breathing, shortness in breathing. But heart problem, heart is the circulation, you know. Circulation is something to do with uh, the mental alertness. When the heart problem, sometimes they feel drowsy, they feel not concentrated, they always uh, forget, forgetful. Mm-hmm. Can I sleep well? Then it is a heart problem. So a person is having a cold hand. You, the first person to ask him, how is the breathing? Everything. You're breathing okay, everything okay, then it must be a heart problem. Sometimes people have complained this reason. This reason. This, 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 the second here, it must be liver or stomach problem. But you see, for example, if people complain about the rheumatism at the kneecap, the kneecap here, eh? No, if you, a person have a problem in the kneecap, no matter how much you master the knee, you never co- solve your problem. A person having a, a right hand kneecap problem is having a liver problem. You see, our leg also A, B and C. So this problem is here. It's right in the liver. So if, if people have a right knee problem, you must suspect of liver. Left knee problem, suspect of stomach. Treat this area. Instead of treating the kneecap, you, never ha- you can never solve the problem by treating the thing. Yeah? Then our knee in, in front and the joint at the back. Joint is reflected to the kidney. kidney. If a person having kidney problem, also weak in the knee. This is a main reflectology. So, reversely, a person having a kidney problem, we using genodermal oil to massage at the back of the, this, uh, this thing, then it can improve, like acupuncture. Uh, sometimes we also wei chong, uh, the, 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 this thing, you put in the needle, the back, then you can treat this uh, the, the kidney problem. In front, you can treat the liver problem, something like this. Uh. But this outside the scope of today, this thing, just for in, interest. That's so why a person, when complain of rheumatism inside the knee, don't treat the knee. Treat the liver or treat the, treat the stomach. Then this is the right way. How to treat the liver or the stomach? Simple, one, two, four, six. Make that one, two, four, six. Uh, this is uh, thing. Nah, this is uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you see, people are still influenced uh, by, by the conventional thinking. Uh, certain type of disease, they manage certain type of medicine, certain way of prescription, certain way of taking. That is not true in Gena We are not discussing about disease. And we are also not against other systems. We always work, work hand in hand in other systems. Just now, Dr. Tangaras told me, Genotherapy and other system is a like two bed of scissor. It must work together to have beautiful result. That's why, if your background is allopathy, feel free to use allopathy treatment. You can feel free to use antibiotic or allergies together with this thing. If you are Ayurvedic, you can feel free to use a herb. You are traditional, is a herbalist, use a herb together with RGN, GR. It works beautifully. It works uh, 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 beautifully. That's why we always discuss to work hand in hand in other system. There's no restriction. If a person is taking the, the prescription for doctor, they can work together with RGN and GM. Now that is on the dosage. It's so very simple, huh? but it's as simple as that. There's no dosage, nothing more than that. In genotrom, in genot, gen, is the genotropy, we only have two cards, you know. First cut is RG and GL, no other time, methanolic, RG and GL. Second cut is a dosage. These are the two things you can play around with, not more than that. So, any, any body calm, what we can play around with is a dosage. Dosage is extremely important. It's extremely uh, uh, important, this is a uh, thing. But dosage is different from different people. Nah? So you have to go by trial and error. There's no hard and fast rule. You cannot say, oh, this person needs six pair. You look at the face of the next person, next nine pair, it doesn't work that way. You say, power problem, power, sir. Huh? Some people take one pair per day, beautifully soft. Some people have to take until 12 pairs, 15 days per pair. That has to depend on their gastrointestinal, uh, this uh, absorbing power also. So you have to be patient by patient, not by looking at the face. Normally you try one pair, two pair, four pair, four, uh, four pair to six pair, then we observe for one month. Any improvement or not? If there's beautiful improvement, then no need to go for further dosage. If this unsatisfactory improvement, then you increase the dosage. It's simple logic. Simple logic. 
So you don't need to ask me again what is the dosage and everything. Nah? It, it's just as simple as that. Now, this is how we are talking that Gendonoma by itself is not a medicine, it's a food. Nah? So all the reaction is caused by the our this, uh, immune system. So you don't need to worry that immune system will cause any harm. Many people have a lot of worry, you know. And just now, we, we also have a, a case, you see, a uh, diabetes, just now, the case. After taking Gedonoma, diabetes is beautiful. All the sugar level come down, but the few fear in the morning. A few agitated, no. Of course, you have this sort of reaction. Because why? For diabetes patients, they always have liver and kidney problem. Because when you are di having a diabetes, too much sugar inside the body, you have to depend on the liver, the kidney to dispose of the sugar. You are overworking, you work too much on the, on the liver, this thing. Even today they have failed, or even today they have a problem. This too. Liver will make you agitated and uh, emotional. Uh, uh, kidney will make you feel fear. So after taking uh, 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 this uh, uh, gadonoma, first it control. After detoxification, after detoxification, your sugar level will come down. Then you must go to the second phase. Regeneration, balance back the, the body function. By the time you have a lot of emotional, this, uh, this thing, physical, this reaction. You see, many people, uh, they're telling me, you see, Gunama, first week work very well. After taking Gunama, what, wow, feel so fresh, everything. Come to second week, third week, suddenly so many reactions come. Uh, then, then they say, what's wrong with this, uh, this uh, medicine, you know? First week, okay, second week, the symptoms, okay. No, there's nothing wrong with Gunama. It's something we, we do with action. You see, let's say you have a, you, you have a joint joint problem. Let's say you have arthritis, eh? implementation, or you have a rheumatism. This is the accumulation of, let's say, uh, this, uh, what you call, uric acid, uh, uric acid, you have pain in the eye. After taking genodoma, during the detoxification, all the uric acid will be cleansed away. Okay, so then you feel light, you feel everything okay, then your whole hand eh, feel beautiful. Then you're not cured, you know, because your wound inside is still remain. You still need to go to second phase of balancing back. Then you take time. Three months, one year, or even two years, uh, this is the thing. If the time you stop taking the the this thing accumulate back again, then you feel pain again. Then some people, they complain. Taking the then no problem. Stop taking, then the problem come back. But they never go to the second phase of regeneration. You need to regenerate the body. And to regenerate the body, it's not a matter of one day or two days. It's a matter of months. Eh? Three months, six months, one year. Even the, the therapist from Japan, they say, take even out of five years. Because your problem it takes 20 or 30 years to deal with, it cannot be solved in one or two weeks. Yeah. So they must be patient after taking this thing. So if a person at first taking get a a few friends, afterwards few words, it's a good sign. Second with them, they already go into the second phase of the therapy. Regeneration or balancing back. So just now we have a classic case of blessing back. The diabetes, after taking RG and GL, the, the sugar level come down, beautiful, but having emotional problem, very agitated problem. That is a beautiful progress first, a beautiful progress. You mean you already started to regenerate, to balance back the liver and kidney. These are these are the things. Okay. Now we are dealing with the business of Gedonoma. Sometimes people ask me, you know. Who can take Gedonoma? What are the age, uh, this thing, whether the old, very old people can take Gedonoma or not? Whether the newborn baby can take Gedonoma or not? Our standard answer is that before a person come to this world, now before I come to this world, before I say bye-bye, goodbye to this world, he can take Gedonoma. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by before coming to the world? Before coming to the world is during the pregnancy of the mother. Now, our Gendonoma is beautiful for pregnant women. Ah, yeah. You see, pregnant women, when the child is developing, press again the organ, first they develop emotional problem. They press again the liver, press again the kidney, they are having a fair emotional problem. That's a normal phenomenon. Secondly, uh, they, due to the hormone system imbalance, they develop certain liking of the food. In Asia, Many people thought that for a pregnant woman during pregnancy to ask for oxygen food is something normal. It is not normal. Something is wrong with the system. They ask for certain food which is not in the season, you know. The husband has to scratch the head eh, to go. Something is wrong with the hormone system. It, you need to balance back. If the mother is not healthy, the child cannot be healthy for a simple reason. That's why we, for this uh, pregnant woman, you take RG and GL. But certain women, they are worried, you know. They say RG is very good. 
uh, I think then my child becomes too big, eh? Uh, it's it very difficult in the, in the labor, see. So no, whether the big or small is hereditary, you know, nothing to do with Ganonama. You don't worry, take Arjun Jiya, the child becomes too big for, to, to be born. No, no, no such worries. No, no such worries. It's a wrong concept. It's good for women first to regulate the hormones, to regulate the emotion. Huh? Then they, do, they don't have the, this uh, after birth syndrome. They don't have, certain women after, after giving birth, uh, they have a lot of historical, this uh, uh, psychological problem. After taking Gedanama, they don't have this problem. And the beautiful part is that the body will, 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 will back to normal very quickly. And it return to the beautiful shape uh, very quickly. And this is also a finding point. So you go and hunt around all the pregnant women uh, for this thing. Uh. <laughs> this is our first group of customers. Uh, before the, the, the child come to this world, now nah, this, uh, this are the thing. Now for new newborn baby, you see, Gedanama is food, it's a type of food. Anybody can take, even the first day after this thing also they can take. But of course for the new newborn baby, normally we don't address Arjun here unless, unless they have some problem, you see. There's one case in Sulawesi, one of our double diamonds. So he is uh, having his first grandchild. Uh, happy man, happy grandfather. But his happiness is very spot uh, least, no? Because the child come out, cannot be urinated. After two days, the whole abdomen becomes so hard, no? The doctor uh, uh, advise for surgery and go for x-ray and surgery. And he refused for x-ray and he's right. For a uh, newborn baby, go for x-ray will damage the brain, you know? Can damage the, 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 the brain. So what he do? He put Arjun Jial into the tank. Uh, after five or ten minutes, uh, the urine come out with a lot of this uh, bubbling, uh, this thing. Uh. Uh. Sometimes uh, the newborn maybe they have a jaundice problem, they can also take, just put half RG and GL into the milk, and they think. But if the mother is the best, uh, well, the best meal, the, this thing, put into the tongue first, uh, put in the tongue, then, then give the milk to the baby. Just half capsule will do. Half RG and half GL. But some maybe they don't like RG because it's very bitter, you know? Then you only address GL. This is a thing. And this is a thing. And it's good for the brain development of the, this thing. We are polycytolite in, in this thing. That's for baby. Second group of our customer. Nah? Then third group is a student. Baby come out, nah? the student. What is important for a student is their study, concentration, their memory. And our GL is fantastic. Our GL, a lot of polycetylite in the GL. The polycetylite inside the GL is akin to the protein or in the membrane. Now, our membrane of the cell, the structure is akin to the polycetylite on GL. It's so after taking GL, you can repair the membrane very quickly for development of the cell in the body. And it's good for the brain. Good for the brain. In Malaysia, many of our teachers become uh, this, uh, what they call, diamond, simply because they introduce GL to students. <laughs> <laughs> you see, students can take RG, but sometimes take RG and GL is too much a uh, 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 financial burden to the family. Small children, normally they don't have toxin inside their body, so they take GL is sufficient for them. Take one or two GL per day is okay. Now for students, it improves their thing. In Malaysia, we have done a lot of study. Those are problematic students, those are retarded students. They go for special school, for retarded school. After taking GL for two to three months, they improve considerably and some of them put back to a normal school. And many of our, our members, their, their children are not performing well in the school. But after taking GL, their mathematics, uh, their concentration power are much improved. You all can try it on yourself. This is our third group, uh, third group uh, on this, uh, this thing. Now, First group is a pregnant woman, second group is a small child, then a student, children of course are secondary or whatever it is. Eh? Then come to the fourth group is a teenager. Teenage, those graduated from this thing. What is important for a teenager? Yeah, they are, they are, they are teacher, eh? they must look handsome, eh? look uh, presentable, this thing, eh? be beautiful, beauty in the face. Genonema is the best cosmetic in the world. Yeah? Why I say best cosmetic in the world? Now I ask all of you a very simple question. A person buy RG and GL from you. After one week, he go and menu you again. Now without talking to you, looking at him, can you know whether he has fake RG and GL or not? Can you know or not? Yes. Definitely we can know. Just by looking at the face, we will know. Because why? Our face is a mirror of our body. 
Because there are a lot of these, uh, what they call, small blood vessels inside the face, just like inside the organ. If your organ is not healthy, there's a lot of deposit inside the organ, there's also a lot of deposit on the a, on a face. So after taking RG and G out, there's a lot of cleansing. When cleanse, the, the blood vessel will clean out, the face will lighten up, look more fresh. So a person, after buying RG and G out, whether they are consuming or not, they cannot bluff us, they cannot cheat us. We know by looking at the face. This is the thing, yeah? So this is the thing. So after taking RG and G out, you, you can have a fairer complexion, a beautiful complexion. Nah? Uh, look at our Roni, our Ramat, nah? uh, beautiful. <laughs> uh, so it's a, it's a beauty from inside. You can see it within one or two weeks, you don't need to wait for it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> This thing. So, so in Hong Kong, Singapore, this is a very good selling point. So all the beauty and everything, they promote this like anything to their customer, eh? then then they become a, a, a beautification. Not only that, not only that. Our RG and GL can become a beauty mask. Simple. Just put one RG, one GL, add with some clean water, mineral water, then apply on the face as a mask. You see, yeah, beautiful. It's saving. Huh? Now, in the future, we are going to introduce this a shampoo, body shampoo, and toothpaste. Now, just now, one member told me they apply toothpaste on the face. The face turns dark. Never, never apply toothpaste raw on the skin. A whole pack like this. Never. That's why our toothpaste contains menthol. Otherwise, your face beautiful, you're not ugly. <laughs> this is this are this thing. You, you see. Especially Asian, uh, they're forgetting their net, you know. Some, some women, they take care of their face so well, they're forgetting about net. So very angelistic uh, face, but certain things, neck, neck, uh, it? So when you wash, you remember to wash your, your, your neck, uh, your ear, everything. It's uh, simple. And, and you see, for a woman to buy scrubber is very costly. Good scrubber is costly. And many scrubber, they put in a cost aggregate day to rub against your skin. That we never advise people to do that. Your skin, your smear of this thing, sometimes you're infected on the skin, it, it never works that way. So by this uh, toothpaste, you wash the face uh, like, like this way, now you naturally scrub off all the dead cells. And then the genoma there will go into a good, uh, what do you call, action on the face, your face becomes lightened out. A man and woman can do the same thing. Nah? If they don't believe, no, ask them to wash only on one face. Nah? Then you see what happens. <laughs> one duck. Some of our members, they apply, they, they actually experiment on their, on their hand. Eh? After some time, you see, there's a lot of difference between the both hands. You, you wash with this thing. Eh? Then, uh, in the future, we're going to come up with shampoo and body shampoo. Nah? Uh, just a briefly, what is the right way of using shampoo, our shampoo? Nah, the right way of using shampoo is before you're taking the bath, put it straight away, apply it on your hand. We it stick there for half an hour. This is why we need the genoma to, to penetrate into the skin. Eh? If you put a lot of foam, eh, then what is the use? Because you, your, your hair itself you do not have any life, no? You only have the root there. So you apply to the root, hit it close to the root, then you, you turban yourself, eh? as a Punjabi, eh? just turban the thing, then enjoy the movie and relax yourself for, for at least 20 minutes. Let's take at least 20 minutes for the skin though absorb the good nutrition. Have a deep cleansing on uh, on this thing. Then you go for take bath. Then you have. Then you can uh, solve this uh, HIV problem. Hair is vanishing problem. Uh, then many one of a uh, one uh, Filipino he become diamond. So he have a bald head, you know. So he apply this uh, this thing and the hair coming out. Uh, he sell temple like anything. Uh, he become a temple diamond. Uh, this thing is temple king. <laughs> But the right way of using a shampoo is before taking bath, you, you can wet your, your hair a little bit, then apply it and hit it near to the scalp. That's the right way. Of course, you can use a normal shampoo and wash, it's okay. Then, but be careful. Certain people, after they're washing, they have a lot of dandruff, a lot of steel, the hair is very dry, that's normal. Because many shampoo, they put in oil, they put in this thing, eh, then it's not natural. After you wash the whole thing, then your, your, your skin, Forgotten to, to, to what they call, to, to secret uh, the, the, the oil anymore. Using our shampoo, we don't have much oil to it, you force the skin to reproduce uh, the normal productive oil. So only after one or two weeks of dry hair, after that your hair will turn back to normal and beautiful. This is the thing. And our, our body loss, uh, this uh, body is uh, body form. The same case, you can apply on the face, apply on this thing before taking bath. So, so you see, 
when I, I, I remember when I'm in Hong Kong, eh, there's one question put to me by the Buddhist. You see, you see Dr. Lim, eh, say for Hong Kong people, not only the face must be beautiful, not only the hair must be beautiful, okay? Our neck, our shoulder, the hand, the body, the leg, the whole body must be beautiful. If I apply Arjun here throughout your, my body, uh, broke, no? Bankrupt, <laughs> this thing, uh, of course, you apply throughout the body, it's too costly and fair. What should we do? Very simple. You apply throughout your body, by our body form. Body form, apply it, nah. Not every day, not every day, just one or twice per week, no? Every day you use it as a normal thing. One or twice a day, apply the whole thing, nah. Cover yourself, enjoy yourself uh, for 20 minutes or half an hour, then go and take bath. Not only your, 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 this thing, uh, 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 your skin are beautiful, you become a much uh, energetic, uh, because the Gendonoma going to do deep cleansing, uh, after dispose of all the toxins, you feel enlightened up. You see, in Malaysia, we ask people never, never use cheap shampoo. With cheap shampoo, there are a lot of chemical, there are a lot of fluorescence. Uh, you put this thing under the light, also you can see the sparkling. You want to make your hair sparkling. Uh, that is no good for your house because our this area very close to the brain. You apply it, it goes into the lymphatic gland. And after that, absorb into your 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 this thing will affect your your emotion and your mental. The more you wash with the the mad shampoo, the the bad shampoo, uh, the madder you become. You become mad, you know. This this is a thing, yeah. Then even the toothpaste, many of the toothpaste they use saccharin, saccharin artificial artificial sugar. When you wash your teeth, you must remember. Our teeth also need uh, a nourishment, you know. But you watch with saccharin, saccharin has no, no nutritional value. Then you go into the lymphatic gland, go into your, your brain, you affect your emotions. So after using our shampoo for one month, then you use back the old shampoo, uh, no, after using a toothpaste for one month, you use back the old, old toothpaste, you see that day the emotion is different. You can go and uh, do some experiment, you think. And now the same case our shampoo. Uh, but of course, our shampoo are uh, not coming. I uh, didn't talk too much about shampoo. Uh. The other way, Ramad will sit by, the, by you all the day. Don't taste him. Uh. You'll get all the approval thing will come. But come back to our toothpaste. Many people say, oh, it's funny. Toothpaste is supposed to brush in the tooth. Uh. How come you say for, for this uh, skin restless, uh, for insect bite? Sometimes when people have headache, so they apply on the forehead. Cough, so they apply on this thing. You see, our, our toothpaste, they're putting a natural ingredient inside our toothpaste. Nah. So, so actually it's a common uh, practice to apply it on the skin and everything. Nah. But don't apply it in a big bag. Remember, apply it in a sporadic one, then you, you rub. I, I remember that day, Tetanggu, uh, nah, our diamond nurse, told me of one experience. One day, they are in the middle in the jungle, nah, they go for checking everything. One child gets some insect by everything, the whole body come out with razors, crying in the middle of the jungle. What do we do? So we apply this uh, our genozi uh, on this eating place, rub everything, then half an hour the whole problem is solved. And this on the on the use. Now this on the let's say our RG and GR product can be used for cosmetic purpose. And this is a wash market, you know? It's a wash market. And compared to cosmetic, our product is cheap, you know. So you, you can eat it and you can apply it to, to this thing. Now this on the fourth group of our customer. Then come to the men. Uh, the married married men. Married men and a couple, what is the main problem? You see, married men, there are two main problems. Nah. Or oh, oh, men and women. Nah. When I say men, it's, of course, it represents women also. Nah. But we don't say some women, no? Other people also that we, this, what do you call? We, we do not respect the race. Okay. Two main problems. First is stress problem. After you're having a family, you do go and earn enough living nah, to this thing. So, in the today modern society, of five married couple, one is uh, overstressed. One is overstressed. Now, this overstress causes a lot of problems. Out of five men, one man is having uh, this uh, sexual problem. Important. Now, the statistic, no? We got the stress. Out of five women, one is suffering from this uh, woman disease. A uh, white discharge and this uh, emotional problem, uh, the pains before this uh, menstrual level. Now, out of five couple, one couple is very difficult to get children, child. This this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this thing. So this other something to do with stress. Now, how to handle stress with our product? It's very simple. One of our products is very good for stress. This is our coffee. Coffee. Many people are telling me the coffee is not good for health. What for you go and produce coffee? Now, coffee by itself is just a bean. By itself, it doesn't cause any harm. 
The harm is not come from coffee. The comes from the additive they put into the coffee. To make the aroma better, to move everything, make the chemical they put into the coffee, then it's making us harmful. You see, <clears throat> in Malaysia, in a rural area, when they fry their own coffee, you go and drink the coffee for four or five cups, nothing will happen to you. But recent, but you go and drink some instant coffee, one or two cups and you feel the whole body uh, 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 are not feeling well. It's not because of coffee, because of the additive you put inside the coffee. You must remember this thing. Now, coffee is very good for stress handling. Let's say if a person is having a stress, this thing, you, you, you take coffee and take two to three pints of this, our, our RG and GL, within 20 to 30 minutes, uh, the stress level will be controlled. That's why we always advise the wife, uh, when your husband is grumbling, uh, making a lot of noise inside the, the house, uh, don't quarrel with the husband, no? You just make a cup of Jackson coffee, let your husband drink, after 20 minutes, uh, everything will stop. <laughs> When you feel stressful, uh, when you feel you cannot cope with life, take out ginger with a cup of coffee, relax for 20 minutes, then your stress level will, will, will disappear. Okay, this one thing. Now, then in Southeast Asia, in Malaysia, there's one hot topic during this uh, discussion. Uh, it's how to increase the sexual power. Uh, it's always a hot topic. Uh, in, I don't know about India. I hope it's not a taboo here. Nah. So we develop certain special formula to boost <laughs> the what you call, to increase your strength. <laughs> we call it the formula of 4111. What do you mean by 4111? We are using 4GL. 4GL. Take away the capsule. Uh, take away the capsule. 4GL. With one sachet of coffee. One sachet of coffee. Then with one teaspoon of honey. Then with one egg yolk, teaspoon of honey. Teaspoon or tablespoon? Oh, so table, tablespoon, sorry, big spoon, big spoon. It's, honey is not very important, it's just add to taste. Eh? Then one raw, this uh, egg yolk, without egg white. Raw egg yolk, I remember, not cooked one, uh, raw one. Not cucumber, <laughs> yolk, egg yolk. Now, let me ask you the basic question. Huh? Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow yolk. Yellow yolk. Don't, don't put a white one. Huh? Put in the yellow one. Now, what is the logic behind that? You see, first, the coffee. The coffee will dilate your, your blood vessels slightly. Make your circulation flow better. Huh? Your emotionally flow okay. So GL can increase the strength of your body. Then your honey... Honey is a dual function. First, honey is a natural, what is called, bacteria killer. It can kill the bacteria inside the yolk. And honey also can give you instant energy. Then, yolk is in, raw yolk is important. Your raw yolk has a lot of lecithin. And the lecithin will, will, what is called, improve the, what is called, the structure of the body cell and everything. Then, together with the polycetylide from this, uh, uh, gadonoma, it's a complete, uh, this, uh, merge. Many people say, oh, raw yolk is, doesn't sound right. Nah. You don't take the boiled one. Because uh, lo- raw egg yolk will lower your cholesterol level. But the cooked one will increase your cholesterol level. Just opposite. Just opposite. So you must always use uh, raw egg yolk, uh, this thing. Then put it, then put it in hot water. Now, don't worry about the hot water will reduce the efficacy. We need hot water to put it to make a temperature difference. We kill the bacteria inside the yolk by variation of temperature. You mean you put in a very hot uh, water to the yolk, then you, you, you stir the thing, then the temperature will come down when it contact with the, with the, with the, with the coffee, with everything. The changes of this uh, temperature will kill the, the bacteria in the yolk. Do you think? Then you, it's a very beautiful drink, you drink it, nah? then you just report to me what is the outcome. Huh? Yeah, 411, yeah. Many women told me it's unfair, you know, they say this one for the men. No, this is also for women. This is also for men. So, when you prepare, prepare two portions, one for yourself, one for your husband. Yeah. You see, for women, what's important, you must be emotionally stable, yeah. you must feel uh, affectionate, yeah. you must feel nice with the all relationship things. That will improve, and you improve your skin uh, contact. By women taking this thing, you have a beautiful skin. The beautiful skin. Uh, after you take 
two two times per week. No need to, no need every day. Nah, two times per week. Nah, it can replace Viagra easily. Yeah, yeah. Four one one one. So if you have any doubt, ask Raman. Raman is expert in that. This is our four one one one. Then also, also <coughs> we can use we can do this uh, uh, coffee mix. Nah, we put coffee with some eye with the whole egg. Put GL brand the whole thing. Eh? It's a beautiful. Uh, this uh, coffee shake. You can have a coffee shake. Uh, this uh, thing. So there are many ways of this thing to increase the strength of the body. The fifth good, yeah. Oh, okay. We have alternative for uh, this thing. Now, vegetarian even the unfertilized egg also can I take? No, can I take now? Now, okay. Actually, you. You say egg eh, is a uh, is to for protein. If you you do not want to use this uh, egg, uh, what you can do? You you increase more on uh, GM, double say maybe you put seven or eight GM. But in the future, when we come with a fresh mushroom, you can use a fresh mushroom to replace egg and meat. The fresh mushroom has sixty percent of this uh, uh, protein. But even you stick together with fresh mushroom, cook and fresh. The fresh one you must cook. All mushroom never take raw, no. Cook the, 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 the put it in a in a in a this thing and egg. So you can forego with the the egg, but double the gia, double the gia. But some people they they cannot find honey. You do the honey, you put in some sugar. It's also okay. Uh, it's uh, not not uh, compulsory. So if you don't have this uh, this thing, of course, if you don't have egg, you can put a bean powder. Binzi, our binzi, a bean powder, bean powder. Another way, if you don't have this, uh, if you do not have egg, uh, there's one simple method. This a uh, soybean, you know soybean, soybean. Uh. Soybean is soaked into the water for four or five hours, not overnight, not overnight. Four or five hours. Then you, you use a blender to blend the whole thing and squeeze out the juice. Put some this thing, uh, squeeze, then you have uh, this uh, soy, soy milk. I think uh, Susila should be able to know how to do this soy milk. Yeah, you can ask this. Uh, we can demonstrate in the thing. I mean, you you do soak the soy bean overnight. You no, know? you see overnight, you, 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 the all the protein turn to fiber already. So so it's too little. You soak only four or five hours. Nah, drain the water, put into the blender, the vegetable this uh, fruit blender, put in some water, blend the whole thing, then squeeze out the 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 the, the juice, blend again two or three times, then you get this uh, soy milk. Huh? And this is a soy milk. This is a soy milk. You must cook, you know. Soy milk, you must, uh, uh, you must boil. But don't boil until 100 degree. Boil until 100 degree. Suddenly, the, the thing will explode in in, in this bubble. You boil until the have a good aroma with uh, this thing. Then you can stop boiling. Then you can use the one to replace yolk. Then together, you you, you pour it into our four one one one. It's beautiful. The one you can for vegetarian is beautiful. Yeah. Now. Nah. Then it's our fifth group, ma. Fifth group. Then come to the sixth. It's the advanced old age people, advanced senior people. Now, senior people. What's important for senior people is uh, they must uh, have a good life quality. The life quality must be must be good, na. So in order to have a good life quality, they must regenerate the body function. Now, when you approach the old people. You see, we tell them we want you to have a good life, live as a young man. And let let me tell you uh, one of a real incident happening. Uh, one of our stockies, uh, one day he telephoned to the office. He said, "I have placed the order of my product. How come you never send to me?" Then we look at our this thing. He said, "We already sent to you last week, but he never received." I said, "What happened?" You know, he introduced the thing to his father. His father already eighty years of eighty years uh, this thing. So afterward, the father so energy, energy thing, and his father want to marry again, you know. Are they here? Yes. Oh, so they get so angry, then they stop all the arguing here to his father. He said, "No, forget about it." No, he said. So when he send the product to him, his father go and confiscate all this, keep it for his own consumption. Are they here? Yes, thing. So good for all people. Yeah, good for all, but but not of course not to marry again, huh? but to have a better life, no. To have a better life. This ah, uh, this thing. This ah, uh, this ah. Uh, yes. So so for the. So for the old people, we're talking about good life quality. Last, when we come to the sick people, the seven group, sick people, we're talking about 
detoxification, we're talking about coming back. So the sick people, only one seven of our market. It's not our main market. Our main market are healthy people, provide good life quality. So we have seven groups. Pregnant women, uh, it's good for the emotion, good for the hormones, good for the star, good for the body. Small star is good for the brain development. Okay? Children, as a small school children, good for the study. Good for that. A young young uh, people is good for the cosmetic, good for their this, uh, appearance. Then for the married couple, good for the stress handling and also this uh, what they call the sexual power. Then the old people is good for the life general improvement of life quality. Then good this uh, what they call sick people. They were talking about detoxification uh, as in the morning and this uh, uh, regeneration of the body. Now. Not only human being, you know. If you are clever, this uh, fighting cock also can become SA. There's one case in Indonesia. One people, he rare a lot of this uh, fighting cock, you know, chicken, to fight one. So one day he put six pair or nine pairs for the cock to take. Always win in a competition, you know. They take it so long, they calculate the cock will become SA already. Every day, it becomes star agent because the consumer this is the thing. So they, <laughs> so there's one cases uh, in Singapore. They rare this uh, Japanese the koi, Japanese gum. They put GL for the cup thing. Oh, beautiful color. Then have a higher price. So there's one diamond in Bali, the island of Bali. He's a he's a bird city. He likes to rare birds, man. So what he do? He go to to the to the bird shop, get all the sick bird. The bird already sick. No price, no. So give you a very cheap price. After coming back, he, he fit R, G, and G, M. The boat become energetic, good again, sell 10 to 20 times higher price. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, the cat had problem, also they said to the cat, a uh, good problem, the dog, and they did our pets, and everything. Animals also can take R, G, and G, M. Fish also can take fish, animal, anything. So if you are good, now you can sell into any living thing, no? And this is the thing, they are unlimited in our market. These are, these are the things, yeah? <laughs> okay. Now a little bit on this, uh, uh, this thing, eh? Now talking so much about Gedanama, I ask your simple question. Are all the Gedanama the same throughout the world? Eh? No. Oh, the extent Gedanama, of course, is the same throughout the world. I mean, uh, you, you have more than 200 of Gedanama in the jungle, you know? Are all the Gedanama of the same type of therapeutic strength? No. no. We have made a lot of study, you know, you know on, on Gedanama. So, so last time, we fit it on the mouth, fit it on the chicken. Eh? More chicken, eh? we study the motility, race, and everything. Out of 200 species, only 6 species are potent. Have a great potential. So our JXN Gedanama is out, out of the 6 species that we, we get from the, the jungle. They have very good, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 study. We study is a very potential. It's different from other stuff, other company. That's why our Gendanama is under a long year of research. So they cannot compare with this thing. Now, if you want to compare to other company, because now there are many companies are selling Gendanama. And many of them, they're selling this uh, water soluble one. We put into the glass, it's all dissolved in water, but our one is not dissolved in water. Then, then uh, our competitor, they always claim uh, our one of inferior quality, their one is better because they dissolve everything in, in, in this thing. Now, if a product dissolves everything in water, it's not a good product for simple reason. Genonoma is having more than 300 types of active ingredients in Genonoma. Only 30% are soluble in water. Now, if you give me a product that is 100% soluble in water, that means you only give me 30% of the content. One thing. Secondly, in order to extract it in the water, you see, you have to heat it for a long hours. That will destroy the polycetylene in anything. Thirdly, if the water quality is no good, you have to, after the evaporation, you need to evaporate it, isn't it? So the potassium, the, the heavy metal inside the water will keep on concentrate and more concentrate, no? Until when you put into the concentrator, there are a lot of uh, heavy metal, a lot of these things. That's why some internet say, don't take Gedonoma with a high potassium level. How can Gedonoma contain potassium? Gedonoma cannot produce potassium. It must be due to something wrong with the process. Something wrong with the process and plantation. Certain, certain company, they don't produce their own Gedonoma. They buy from farmer. 
they buy in terms of kg. So when the farmer plant get them, uh, the best, the bigger it is, the heavier it is, the better, because by kg. To become it bigger, they put in hormone, they put potassium to, to increase the, the growth of the growth, then they put in all sorts of urea uh, to, to increase the nitrogen to make the whole thing uh, grow very big. No therapeutic effect. We must go organic planting, 100% natural. You we must go organic planting, 100% natural. You think natural food grow to a natural size. You don't interfere with the size, no? We, we, natural. we can grow, you know, no more as big as this one, as big as this one, but no use. It's only for souvenir. There's a lot in our farm. We sell that souvenir. We never make it into capsule. Nah, that. But to me, the capsule, first, you need an organic farming. But many companies claim that they are also organic farm. You see, to substance your substance your organic farm, you must have ISO 14001 certification. If, you, if I go to Europe, I say, I have an organic farm, everything. No, they never think. The first question they ask you, where is your 14001? If you have 14001, that means you can prove that your farm is an organic farm. And we have this 14001, the ISO 14001. <laughs> so when a people wanted to compare their product with us, first question we ask, do you have this certification in your farm? If you don't have this certificate on the farm, there's no guarantee that you're using organic farming. If there is no guarantee that you're using organic farming, that means you can put anything into the genoma and it may be harmful to the body. Secondly, come to the factory. Any pharmaceutical factory, they must have GMP certificate. That means good manufacturing practice. Uh, good manufacturing practice. I think the same thing also happened in India, throughout the world, throughout the world, any pharmaceutical company. And we have a GMP certification. Not only GMP, we also have been a TGA from Australia. Because sometimes the GMP or the national is not recognized throughout the world. So they form another association, they call it TGA Association, Therapeutic Good Administration from Australia. That is recognized in USA, in all the Europe and all the advanced countries. We also have the certification. We send uh, this, uh, the European, this uh, Australian send two officers to us. The first thing they check, they're not checking our, our factory, the first thing they check is a toilet, no. They go to the toilet uh, and everything okay. If they tell you your toilet is not clean, they'll go back to our toilet straight away. That is the thing. Now it's very strict and we get a TGA. Nah. We also have ISO 9002 for this thing. So when people want to compare the product with us, the first question we ask them, do you have a GMP certificate for your factory? And do you have uh, this uh, TGA for your factory? And do you have an ISO 9002 for factory? Everybody is saying the product are good. Nobody will say the product are inferior. You see, the only thing we can compare is by independent institutions. If I say, oh, very good, very good, the product, nobody will believe. ISO is not produced by us, it's uh, independent. TGA is not produced by us, uh, independent party, and uh, this, uh, uh, what do you call, our this GMP also by independent party. Lastly, of course, is the analysis. We have a, we have a Malaysian, uh, this is what they call this uh, USM, University of Science Malaysia certificate. We have a CCA, Singapore, this uh, uh, certificate. We also from Australia, from many countries, we have all the certification analysis. So our products are very safe to take, uh, very safe and, and very, this, uh, what they call, uh, everything. And you want to compare the other product, we must compare in the term, different. Then we have uh, our own technology. Our technology, the main difference between our technology with other firms is that we are using cold treatment. Cold treatment in our technology. When we harvested the genoma, first process is dehydration. You must dehydrate. Dehydration, there are two main techniques. The first technique, of course, you put into oven, you put into this uh, hot this, uh, this, uh, this heater, you heat the head of genoma until the thing becomes dry. But that process is harmful to the product because under high temperature, the constitution will change. It's change. We are using this uh, low temperature dehydration. The logic is very simple. We have a condenser, a chill condenser. So we have a, we have a seal room, so the air will pass through the condenser. Then all the moisture content inside the air will condense on the condenser and the water will remove away. Then the cold and this uh, dry air will come out. Then you you the the, the the what do you call the water content from the gadoderma at a fixed temperature, not by variation of the temperature, at a fixed temperature. Then but keep on circulating the air through the condenser 
uh, this thing, 8 to 12 hours, we can completely dehydrate the, the, the whole thing under fixed and low temperature. This is the first thing. Now, after dehydrate the genonoma, not all part of the genonoma can be consumed. Certain fiber, coarse fiber, do not have any good for the body. What we need is a spore inside this thing and also the fine fiber. So, DXN, we develop another special technique. We crush the genonoma, then we put into a centrifugal machine. This a centrifugal machine will turn the powder at a high speed. When you turn at a high speed, all the heavy and coarse fiber will go to the side. Then the light spores and the uh, light this uh, fiber will accumulate in the center, we suck it up. So we throw away the coarse fiber, we only extract the, this, uh, the fine part uh, in Gedonoma uh, by air. Not, not by alcohol or not by water. This is a thing. So after that, we grind, we, 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 we grind the uh, micro grinding, grind away the spores, everything, then we put into a capsule. The whole process do not use any heat, no heat. No heat treatment, no water, no alcohol, everything in the wholeness of the genonoma we retain. That is a salient feature of our genonoma. It's different from other con our other distancing. Other, other company, either they extract by water or they extract by alcohol. There's heat treatment. Some of them, they just uh, uh, bake the whole thing, dry, then they grind the whole thing and put into the, the, the capsule. It looks like earth, but that one, the effect is very poor. Effect is very poor. So many people they suspect, you know, they say, how come the uh, such on such such good effect? Maybe we have put some morphine and some everything into it, uh. I tell, them, oh, we don't put morphine. The morphine is very costly. This thing we don't sell at nine hundred rupee, uh. They put morphine maybe nine thousand rupee away. It's so costly, you know. Uh, how to put a thing? So our one is certified hundred percent natural by our ISO fourteen thousand one by our ISO 9002, by GMP, by, by TGA. Under this uh, certification, you, you need to renew every year. There's no way for us to adulterate it with any other thing. Otherwise, our license will be, will be what do you call, will, will be, will be a cancer by the, by the government. Do you think? So it's very safe to take. And compared to other companies, we have our own technology, coal treatment. So when talking about our farm, you must talk about organic farming, you must talk about ISO 14001. When talking about our factory, you must talk about the coal process technology, our, our ISO 9002, GMP and TGA. They are the selling feature. For commercial person, you see, out of, uh, out of one or two million is a uh, general market we have planted, uh, so we select a few best ones, then we take the live tissue from the general market, then we get a pure spawn. The pure spawn, the constituent cannot be different from the mother plant. Cannot be different from the mother plant. Chemically, physiology, genetically, everything the same. And we are not doing genetic engineering, you know. We do not put anything into the gene, we do not take out anything in the gene. This is also not genetic engineering. It's a natural process. We take a thing, then we get a pure spawn, then from the pure spawn, we put into our, this a uh, uh, culture, this a uh, medium, then the genoma will come up. As a general knowledge, Yesterday, someone asked me, DXN, is it India, 1 billion population? Can DXN guarantee that you can supply to us? And some people even go to the astrologer, astrologer after calculating war, oh, DXN will do too well in, Indonesia, uh, in India until DXN uh, Malaysia may have difficulty of supplying the product to here. Of course, it's a good news to us, uh, this thing. But don't worry about supply. Because one Gedonoma, one Gedonoma, after extracting the tissue, we can produce at least one million Gedonoma, by the way, by tissue culture. Uh, minimum, minimum, one million. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a, now we have a breakthrough in the, with the cultivation. All our cultivation process, all the thing thing, we already have fully mechanized the whole thing. It's a matter of market. The more market is immediately we go into the full extent of production, there's not a worry that we cannot cope with the production. Uh, not not copy the process, and we are not doing this uh, genetic engineering. We are not doing. You see, when you say cloning, you cannot get the the, the what they call. You cannot get the the equal nutrition when you talk about this uh, organ. Of course, the same organ, or you do the plant cloning. You see, plant cloning like ginseng. Ginseng, they 
nowadays ginseng they don't plant it in the field anymore no what they do they take from the roots of ginseng then they cultivate it in the in the lab huh? but that of course you don't get the real ginseng you only cultivate part of ginseng they don't know much different we take the tissue we come up with a whole plant they don't know much not just a part of the thing so there's no question of loss of nutrition or loss of uh, anything in the process we get exactly the the, the same plant yeah The six species escape from the jungle of Malaysia. We go to the jungle, we collected all the species, we do in the lab, after that we test on on uh, what is called on the chicken, on the mice and still the, the efficacy of the whole thing. We study the mortality rate after taking it compared to the control group, you see. You see when we raise chicken in the open, uh, the mortality rate is very high. Uh, without the, the proper care. But taking after taking this uh, genoma, if the mortality uh, uh, is less than uh, say 10 to 15 percent, that means it's very potent. So after select the whole thing, after doing many years of uh, research, we come to the six species. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we combine when after we, we grow the whole thing, we grow the whole thing, then we can, uh, what do you call, uh, we can uh, combine all these things. And these six species are closely related. Some mycologists, they don't believe, no. They say, how can you clone the two things? Of course, if you clone two mushrooms or different species, they cannot be cloned together. Cannot they grow together. But because these six, they are sub-species. They are closely related to each other. You see, it is no, no problem uh, mixing them together. Yeah, this is the thing. It's a vegetable capsule. The capsule is vegetable capsule. It's safe to take. No, it's safe to take, yes. Yeah? FDA approval, America for America? No, we have a FDA in Malaysia approval, Australia also approval, because now we haven't go to the America yet. And we write to America, it says it's not necessary to get the approval, but this is food, you know, this food. So we can sell in America freely. So the only drug that they need FDA approval. Food, not necessary. This is food, natural, not necessary. Uh, not that we don't have, we never apply. It's not necessary. Not, not, not necessary. Even in, in United States, you don't need to have, you only, we, we write the FDA, when they apply, they have a no objection letter to us. They say you can sell this product freely in United States. You know? This is not under control. You know, under control. So no need to worry about the FDA. But we have sufficient uh, cert certification, you know. We have a GMP, we have TGA, we have ISO 9002, we have the, the, the Bureau of uh, Pharmacy in Malaysia, also Singapore, also Australia. So many areas we have. So no need to worry about that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, it's also near to the <laughs> Devon group of customers. If you are good, you can sell to any living thing under the sun. Now, even to fish in the sea, eh? uh, to animal at the land, eh? this is a thing. So, Devon is group is grouped by age. Okay? Start on a pregnant woman, then go to a child, go to a student, you to the young people, you to the, uh, what do you call, the, the married couples, the old people, and the sick people. It's very easy. You can remember it very easily, uh, step by step. What is the most important for a pregnant woman? The child must be healthy. Uh, he must be regain his, uh, his uh, beautiful shape afterwards. Emotionally, he must, be, he must be stable, and the hormones must be stable. It's good for that. For a child, what's more important for the child? The development of the brain in the physical body. So GL is very good for the development of the brain. For students, what is more important for students is a study. Yeah? They improve the concentration in, in improving their studying skill. Then for the young people, we can use a cosmetic yeah? to beautify the skin, to beautify the pipi. Not to say young people, even old people also we need cosmetic. Nah? So, so generally can apply as well. It's the best common cosmetic in the world. Nah, get the then we go for this uh, married couple, two main problem, stress problem, and also sexual problem. Okay, the, the stress problem, we can cook do it with coffee and everything to cope with the thing. Then the sexual problem, we can call this a 4111. Even if you don't have a sexual problem, you can use it as a maintenance of health, is the thing. Then for old people, we're talking about the life quality, they improve the life quality, the world looks so much better from them. Then they can work, they can walk independently, they can take care of themselves, uh, this uh, for the old people. Then comes the sick people, we're talking about detoxification, we're talking about regeneration to, to this thing. So we see, we have a vast, vast range of these uh, customers. So you just imagine, this is how uh, 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 Roni says 30%. 
Now, today after talking, it's become 100%. <laughs> you see, yeah? 